Hello. How are you all? I hope all, everybody who is watching me at the moment is fairly and well by God's grace. Well, those who are watching me for the first time, I think it would be appropriate for me to introduce myself to you so that you know the one teaching you. My name is Daniela Moakum. I'm an ACC chartered accountant provided accounting services, such as bookkeeping, including other services. And also, I also am an accounting teacher. I've done this for more than 20 years. The reason why I've created this channel is to work, is to simplify accounting so that everybody who wants to learn accounting can easily understand accounting and also be a good accountant. I don't want to waste your time. Let us get into the video. We are, this is a continuation or part two of bank reconciliation statement. We've done the part one, so you can click on the link below the show more session and go and watch the part one. This is a continuation. We stop uh, part one at the format. So we are coming to look at some questions of the bank reconciliation statement and how to answer it. I've been saying that accounting is a principle. And the more that you work more questions, the more you understand better, the more you become familiar with it, and the more you easily master it. So whenever I teach, I always work more questions so that it will be better understood. Those who have watched me, my videos, you know how I teach. I prepare simple accounting with them. Gradually, step by step, I go through with them so that at the end of the day, you'll be able to understand whatever that I have, have thoughts. So today, we are, we are continuing with the bank reconciliation. So example, Example one, from the cash book and bank statement of Duke Limited, prepare a bank reconciliation statement. So this is the cash book. And the cash book on the debit side, that is the left hand side. We have the date, particulars, and amount. When you come to the right hand side, that is the credit side. We have the date, particulars, and amount. So the debit side, we have date. The first one, the first date, 2019, particulars, that the balance brought down. 1740. The next one, 4th, 2019, MJUs, 88, $88. The reason why I've negated A and B and so forth later on, I will, I will let you know why. The, the third transaction, 8th, 2019, and NUMA, $73. Also, the reason why I've indicated the green, greens and yellows, I'll also let you know. So, that was 11th March 2019, H. Daniels, $249. And the last one, the transaction on the debit side, 28 March 2019, SKs, $178. Then, when we come to the credit side, that's the Right hand side, second March 2019, Jean Hartz, $349. 11th March 2019, M. Sami, $33. 20th March 2019, S. March, $115. Then 31st March 2019, balance carried down, $1,831. So you close the book the books and we carry it down to, to the next one, which is the 1st April 2020, balance brought down $1,831. Now, when we come to the bank statement, this is how the balance, uh, balance statement looks like. It's, it has the date, particular debit, credit, and the balance. So 1st March 2019, balance brought down $1,740. A particular check, we have the credit side. 
eighty-eight dollars. So the balance is now thousand eight hundred and twenty-eight dollars. It has been thousand seven hundred and forty dollars. Eighty-eight dollars has been added to to make it thousand eight hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Then the next transaction, eight eight dead. That's my twenty nineteen. Jane has three hundred forty-nine. Dollars, it is debit deducted, so it will reduce the amount to thousand four hundred and seventy nine dollars. I'll show you why the 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 bank transaction is opposite what the the cash transaction. Their entries are opposite. So if you debit uh, the, the 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 cash in the bank, they will credit you are why to the bank. Every customer is what is a is a payable. Or, or liability to the to the bank. That's why. Right. So let's continue. 13 3, 2019, M Sami, $33. So it has decreased. It's it is the data, so it has decreased $1,446. 15 March 2019, and Numa, $73 credit. So it has increased. $1,519. The balance has increased the balance to $1,519. Then 18 March or 18 March 2019, Y1, $54 credit to it to increase the balance. So it's now $1,573 balance. 31st March 2019, bank charges. $22, debit, it is decreasing. So the balance has decreased to $1,551. 30 okay. So the balance is $1,551. That's the balance on the bank statement. Okay. So we are going to do the bank reconciliation. And I've said the bank reconciliation is the procedure. First, you take your card book, you make sure that every entry is in the card book is accurate. Then you take your bank statement, then you compare the card book with the bank statement. First, the debit side, you check whatever is in the credit side of the bank, uh, uh, of the card book against whatever is in the debit side of what or the, or the, or the bank statement. So you also take, when you finish, you take, then as you are doing, you take all familiar entries. The one that is not in any of them, you just what, uh, note them down. When you finish, you go to the card room, you take the debit side, all the entries that is on the debit side, you compare with the, all the entries that is on the credit side of the bank statement. Every, you take it, you take it, and then the one that is uh, in the card book and also in the, Bank statement, you take it. The one that is not in, you note them down. So let us go through. But let, but let us take the credit side of the bank statement. We have Gene Hits, $349. When we come to the bank statement, we have a three, uh, this, uh, the, the, uh, the card, there's the credit side. We have 22nd March 2029. Sorry, this one's 2019. Sorry. So, date on the credit side first, we are doing the credit side at the cash book first. So, the credit side, 2nd uh, 2019, particular gene hits $349. When we come here, the bank statement, the debit side, you also have what? GH, what? Uh, $349. Okay. Uh, you, if you look at the bank statement, you realize that uh, the, the card will, it has 2nd March or 3, 2019 as a date for the GH transaction of $349. But when you come to the bank statement, it has to 8 March 2019, GH $349. The reason for the difference they did that, although the check was issued 
to uh, to the, 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 the customer. On uh, 2nd March 2019, but it was presented to the bank on no, March 2019. That's why we have the details. So let's explain. So this one is here, this one. So we take it. That's why I've said C. C. Okay, the next one. 11 March 2019. M. Sami, $33. It has been here. When we come here, the same thing is there. 13 March 2019. M. Sami, $33. So we take it. Because here it's here, we take it. Then we have S. Smart. 23rd March or 2019, S Smart, $115. But when we come here, it is not here. So we note it down. That's why I got a printed degree. Uh, let me explain why a printed degree. Okay. So th that's it. Okay. But we realize also that in the bank statement, the bank charges that it is first March or 2019, the bank charges of $22. It is not what? It is not here. Okay. This one, I said that the cash book, any entry in the cash book, that is not in the what? In the balance meter. And it's a what? It is at the credit side of the cash book. That is not in the balance meter. It's unpresented check. So this one, that is here, uh, uh, 23rd March 2019, March, one hundred fifteen dollars It is. It has been what? Credited in the cash book. That has been. It has been paid out in the card, but when we come to bank statement, it's not that the person has not presented yet. Yet, at the time that the bank statement is being what is being is being sent to the to the to to the owner, so that is always unpresented check. So this one is all unpresented checks. Okay, now we have the bank statement, the bank charge of twenty two uh, dollars. It is here that is what it has been deducted, debited. In the bank said, but it has not been credited in the cash book because the cash book, the bank, when the bank charged them 22, uh, they say they are ordered. they are not aware of it. So what it's not here. So this one is uh, this one is what uh, $22. It is not here. So we also noted that that particular one down the bank charge we noted down. Okay, so we'll finish with the the, the credit side of the cash book and what the debit side of the bank said. Let us go to the debit side of the bank statement and the you compare it to what the credit side of the cash book, okay. So we have here, the balance brought down, first 320 balance brought down, 1740, okay. Now, then the next transaction, of the 2019, M. Jones, $88. When we come here, it is here, so we take it. That's why it's A, A. H, my 2019, N, Newman, $73, B. When we come here, it is here. That's why we take it as B. Okay, now we see this one. 11th March or 2019, A. Daniel, $249. It is here. That is what it has been debited in the card. It has not been what? A, a credited in the what? The bank statement. So it's what? Uncredited check. So we note that one also that. Then 23, 28th, 2019, S. Dollars. It is here that has been debited or received by by what the cash but It is not here, so we also notice that it's what uncredited check because it has not been credited what in the bank statement. So it is in the cash book as debit debited. But when you come to the bank statement, it is has not been credited. So it's all uncredited checks. Okay. Now when we finish in the cash, we also see fifty four uh, 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 CDs. That the bank has increased our amount by 54 cents, but we are not aware of it. So it's sold in the card, so we also noted that. Now, when we come here, I say one, one, the items for the adjusted card. So all these groups, all these ones, they are hot. I said in the previous video that. Any item that is in the bank statement, but it is not in the cash book, it is going to hold the adjusted cash book. That's why I printed the yellow. So all this item, these two items, the 54 A Y1, $54. It has been printed the yellow, it is going to hold the cash book with the bank statement. It is not what in the 
in the cadre. So it is going to hold the adjacent cadre. That's why I painted the yellow. Now the bank charges $22. Also, also here, but it's not what this it's not here. It's not what in the cash book. So what it is also going to the digested cable cash book. So we have this one, A1, $54, which is this one. It is going to what it has been credited, but it's not here. It's not in the in the bank, in the it is in the bank state, but it's not in the cash book. It is going to what digested card book, $22. The bank charges. It is also in the hold in the bank statement, but not what in the in the in the cash book. So it is going to what it is not in the cash book. So it's also going to digest it what cash book. So these two items, A1, A, A1, $54, and B, B, bank charge $22. So they are all going to what the adjusted cash book. Now, the next item, the ones that have been uh, printed green, they are the items in the cash book, but not in the bank statement, as we've indicated. So they are also going to hold, they are also going to hold the bank reconciliation statement. So this one is unpresented in the sense that it has been given to the uh, to the customer uh, as a source of payment. So it has been deducted from the cash book. When you come here, it is not here. It has not been presented yet. So it is what? It has not presented in the, in the bank statement yet. So this one is unpresented check. S smart 150 is going to what is going to the bank reconciliation system. So this one, it is here. The item going to the bank reconciliation is like right. hey, a unpresented check, unpresented check. S smart 150 dollars is going to the bank statement. Okay. Now we come here. The one that we have debited, if you receive it, so what we have debited is supposed to be here, credited in the bank. It has not been credited, so it's uncredited check. So they are two 11. 2098 $249, 28, $3, $20, $178, they are all uncredited. So they are also going to work the bank statement, the bank reconciliation. Sorry. So these are the two that are going to work the bank reconciliation statement. These two. So we have three at the unpresented check and uncredited check. Eight done is $249 and SK $178. They are all going to work the Okay, so the, these items that are in the cash, but they are not what in the they are in the, in the cash. Uh, sorry, they are in the bank statement, but they are not in the cash. They are going to what the adjusted cash, and this one they are in the cash. They are not in the bank statement. They are going to what the bank reconciliation. Also, let us do our. Look at our adjusted uh, cash. So this is our adjusted cash. We have the particulars and the amount, the debit side. Then we come to the credit side, the same particulars and the amount. Okay, so the, the balance brought down 100, $1,831 balance brought down. So let's make sure that is correct. That's the cash. Rate. So the balance brought down is what? $1,000. $831, so it's here. Okay. Now, on the debit side, the Y1, we see $54. That has not been, that, that has worked out. That has not been included. The $54, it is what? It has been received in the bank statement by me. It has not been what included in the card, so we included this item. We included $54. It's a work. It has been received on our behalf of the company, but the company is not aware. So what we include it here. Here. Okay. That is what is hard to be debited because when you look at the bank statement, it has been credited, it has been received on our behalf, but we don't have it. The bank statement is that it has been credited. The bank has received it on our behalf, but we don't have it in our what? In our bank statement, so you have to debit as the bank are crediting. You have to debit. That's why when you come to the adjusted card book, it has been what debited fifty four dollars. Okay. Now we come to the credit side. Bank charges twenty two dollars. This is what the bank has charged at twenty two dollars. It's a what? If you come to the bank statement, it has been what debited. So we have to credit. 
what they've deducted at. So when we come to, it has been what? Debited. Sorry, it has been credited. Okay, so we finish with this. We have to what? Balance it. So we balance it. The difference is what? $1,863. Have to be brought down, balance brought down as what? $1,863. So the adjusted cash book, after adjusting it, is our new balance. Okay. So right now that we have the balance of the, our adjusted cash book, we can go straight to the bank reconciliation. So this is the bank reconciliation as of 31st March 2019. First, I say we are, they have two methods. We can start with what? The balance pay, the bank statement, or the balance pay, the cash. The, the adjusted cash book, the balance per adjusted cash book is the most popular one, so we are using it. So adjusted cash book balance is $1,863, this particular balance. After adjusting the cash book, this is our balance. Okay. Then we add unpresented check, SMART, $115. So this is the unpresented check. And present the check as much $115. That the items in the in the in the cash book that they are what they are not in the bank statement. That these the green ones after we all these ones, they are going to the bank reconciliation statement. So this one is here credited in the cash book, but has not been debited in the what the bank system. We have to bring it. So we add it up. So I open, we add the unpresented check up. So thousand, we add it to $1,863 balance brought down. Then we the adjusted cash book balance, $1,863. We add the unpresented check, SMART, $115 to it. So we, we have a total $1,978. Then we did that uncredited. Uncredited check, which was A Daniel $249 and S Kings $178. So the, that's it. The uncredited $249 and S Kings $178. That's it. This one, we have received it, and by the bank, they've not received it. So it is, we have debited it, H Daniel $249. SK $178. We have debited by the support to credit, if not credit. So we say it's uncredited debt. We add it up. So a bank statement, a bank reconciliation, we have both, uh, both of them. Then we have what? Four, $427. We, uh, we, what? we add it together. Then we did that is from what? The amount, the amount of what? Open balance plus what? Unpresented check. So this and this, we get $1,978. We get $1,978. We did that from this, which is what the uncredited check, both of them, two, $249 and $178. We get $427. We did that for $1,978. Then our balance, which is balance per bank statement should be $1,551. Let's, uh, let us look at the bank statement. Meant balance exactly. So what our entries are all are correct. Okay. So you know how to prepare bank reconciliation. Now let us look at another example. Okay. So this is our second example. I said that all the green ones are going to what are going to. The hot, the band are going to digest the cash, cash, and all the yellow ones are going to what? Are going to the hot, are going to uh, all the blue ones are going to the band reconciliation statement, and all the yellow ones are going to the adjusted card. So let us go through the question. Mr. Austin, Austin received a bank statement from his bank dated 31st June 2020. The balance per day. Statement was $792. While the cash book shows a balance of $1,219, the following errors were found. A, the bank has debited Mr. Austin 
$15,000 in euro. Okay. B, chestnut presented by customers, $210,000. Then the next one, check lodgement of $300 has not reflected in the what? In the bank statement. Then the next one. The bank statement shows the following not found in the cash flow. I standing order $60,000. I I bank charges $25,000. I I I dividend receipt $17,800. I V interest on overdraft, ten thousand dollars. V bank loan deduction, two hundred thousand dollars. Then the next one, that is what the cash balance overstated by what forty five thousand dollars. Prepare adjusted cash book and the bank reconciliation statement. Okay, so the solution. As I said, the first thing that we should do is what? Digested cash. So we have our adjusted cash. Particulars, amount on the debit side, the credit side, particulars, amount. Okay. Balance brought down, $1,219, dollars Let's look at the balance to be, to be sure. That's it. Okay, I told you all the yellow ones are going to what? Digested cash. Okay. Then we have dividend received, $17,800, that's it. It's a yellow one, so it's also going to that. The bank has received it on our behalf, but we don't know anything about it. So we have to what, include the bank, if they have, they have credited us, so we have to what, debit our cash, so we debit, okay. Now we are done with the, with the debit side. Now let us go to the credit side of the cash. Standing order, $60,000, that's it. Standing order, $60,000. All the yellows are going to what? Digested card. Okay. The next one, bank charges, $25,000. You see it. Bank charges, $25,000. Okay. That is, has been debited in the, in the, in the bank statement. We drawn for our card, but we don't know anything about it. So we include it. Okay. The next item. Interest on overdraft, $10,000. So we have this one, interest on overdraft, $10,000. Okay. The bank loan, $200,000. $200, so this is the bank loan deduction. They deducted $200,000 for, uh, for the loan that we collected. They deducted it, so for $200,000. It has been what? It has been debited. In, our, in the bank report, in the bank statement. So we have to credit. That's why we are crediting it because that's been deducted in the what? That's it. Okay, $200. Then they said that was cash book balance over stated $45,000. What this means is that when you take the cash book, uh, let's look at the cash. You see that the cash book, the balance is always here. It's on the debit side. The, the balance brought down is on the what? On the debit side. Okay, it's the, this one it has been overstated by forty-five thousand dollars. Then me and then later on, I will do a video on correction of error. Whenever an amount has been what done in error and you want to cancel it, you do it at the opposite side. So it means that this one, this balance what has been overstated by forty-five thousand. So if you want to cancel it, we do it at the opposite that way. It has been debited, which is normally cash is always a debit balance. Unless it's an overdraft, but cash is always what a debit balance. So it has been debited. And the debit that's what $45,000. This is next. So if you want to cancel it, we do at the opposite by crediting it. That's why when you come here, the $45,000 has been credited. I hope it is well understood. Okay. So we have canceled it by all that. Then we find the difference, which is $897,000. We bring it down here as balance border, $897,000. That's the new balance for the adjusted 
That's, now, once we have our new balance, we can straight away prepare what our our band reconciliation band reconciliation system. So this is our band reconciliation system. First, I just I just attach book balance, which is eighty nine thousand dollars. Then we add any unpresented check, which is two hundred ten thousand dollars. Let's check to make sure that this one is correct. You see, it is here. All the grid I've said is going to what the band reconciliation system. So just not presented by customer, two hundred. $10,000. They were given to the customer. They usually try to issue to the customer. That we have already credited our cash. They did not present it. So it's not showing in the advance. We have to what? Make sure that we bring it. That's why it is here. We have to add it up. So we have to add it. We add it to our OB, we, have, we now have $1,107,000. Okay. Now we have to do that all hot uncredited checks. And the uncredited checks, the first one is what $300,000. Let's let us check to make sure why it's correct. So when we come here, does it check log amount of $300,000 has not been reflected in the advance. So we have already credited, uh, debited our cash we buy. It has not been credited in the, what, the bank system, so we have to what, did that. It. So that's it. Then we add less wrong debits, the $15,000, where the bank did in error. This is it. The bank has debited Mr. Austin $15,000 in error. So what? We have to add it up. And in the in the first video, you can go and check it and see why we are adding wrong uh, debit to it. So we add the wrong word debit. So the anchor is just three hundred thousand dollars by fifteen thousand dollars. We do what two hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Then we did that is from what the bank balance of what digested. The bank book balance of eight hundred ninety-seven thousand dollars. We add the unpresented checks, two hundred ten thousand dollars. We have thousand one hundred seven thousand dollars. Then we did that three hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Then we get what balance per bank statement of what seven hundred ninety-two dollars. Let's check to make sure that it is correct. Here it is. 30 June 20, the balance per day, where the statement was for $792,000, which is correct. Mr. Austin received a bank statement from his bank dated 30th June 2020. The balance per day statement was $792,000. So our, so what our workings are correct, we done is correct. So in a nutshell, that is how we do bank reconciliation statement. Okay, now we are going on to our next subject. Our next subject is what? When there's what? This one is check. What is the meaning of this one is check? So for this one is check, these are checks received from business customers to settle their debt. That has been returned by the bank and refused to pay the debt. There may be several reasons for the return of the check, such as customer not having sufficient money to clear the check. When this happens, the customer should be notified and amount reinstated. So whenever a customer is only us, then the customer pay us the check. We will debit our, our cash book and receive the check and send it to the bank. But when they return it later on, the bank disowned it by, for several reasons. One of them is what? The customer not having insufficient money. That's one of the reasons. When they bring it back, then we have to make sure that what we have canceled the amount in our in our cash book, then reinstate the, the debt. Okay, so that's this one. It has been dishonored by the bank, refused payment by the bank. So it has not been accepted. So we have to cancel it in a position. So let's see how we go about it. So example, there's the example here. On 1st August 2020, Mr. Austin was owed by, by a customer demands limited of what $2,000. He paid the amount 
on the 20th of August 2020 by check. The amount was entered in the cash book and sent to the bank. To, to the bank. However, it was returned on 5th of September 2020. Show the entries in Mr. Austin accounting records. Okay. So a solution A, the initial entries when the check was received. So these are initial entries. Dumas limited account. We have the debit and the credit side. The balance brought down that he was owing us first August okay, 2020. The balance brought down was what? $2,000. So we have it. But when he paid, then we have to what? We have to credit his account, canceling the amount. Then what? Debit act, cash with the amount. You see? So once he paid that date, uh, we have to credit his account. So date 20th, okay, 2020 or 20, uh, 2020, particular cash. But the corresponding entry is going to the cash account. We will credit the $2,000. So we have canceled his account. And we have a, a debited in our cash account. Uh, account should date 20th August, particular Dumas amount, $2,000. I hope this is well understood. Let me go over again. First, Dumas limited account. In his account, we have a balance first date, first August 2020, particular balance brought down amount, $2,000 that he was owing, owing $2,000. Okay. Now he paid a check. So when you pay the check, we have to uh, uh, cancel it or credit his account. So we can date 20th of the 2020 particular cash. It was going to the cash book amount, $2,000. So we have canceled his account. Okay, then we come to our cash book. When we come to our, we are receiving the check, so we have to debit it. So date on the uh, left-hand side, date 20th, 8th, 2020 particular Dumas. We are receiving the check from Dumas. So what, 20000 uh, sorry, $2,000. I hope it is well understood. Okay, that is the initial and when we receive the check. So I'm just, this what I've been I'm just reading it to you. So B, in Mr. Austin accounting report, on the first of, of August, the balance brought down in Dumas Mitchell account was $2,000, showing his indebtedness, indebtedness to Mr. Austin. That's what I've just explained to you. So in, her, in his account, First of all, he shows balance brought down two thousand dollars, showing that he was he, he, he was indebted to what to Mr. Austin. Okay. However, as the amount was paid twentieth August twenty twenty, the cash book was debited, and Mr. Dumas Limited account credited set, settling settling his debt and his account closed. As I said. So when he paid, we have to what credit his account, close his account, and what debit out our our cash book with the amount two thousand dollars, as I said. So he did that. This one has cancelled it out. So he's no more on your. So we have our bank, our uh, debited uh, our cash book. What well, it's two thousand dollars. That's our one that we have received. Okay, that's the initial one. Then we go to the second part, C. Entries when the check was dishonored by Dumas Limited Bank and returned to Mr. Austin. So rather the check has been returned. So what do we do? We go back to our cash book. It has what been debited with this amount, but we, it has been canceled. So we have to cancel it. We cancel it whether it has been debited. So we cancel it about by what also crediting it. So date 5th 9, 2020, that's when the check was returned. We have particular Dumas, what amount credited. So we, we cancel the amount in our cash. We, got, we have already debited 28 or get the 28 or get 2020, particularly the mass amount, $2,000. We have already debited. So we have to cancel it by our credit date, 5th 9, 2020, when the check was returned, particularly the mass, $2,000. So we cancel it out of what? Our books. Then we come and reopen Mr. Dumas account because it's still Going at that month. So, what we have to debit him. So, date 5th, 9th of September 2020, a particular cash amount, $2,000, what reinstating his debt. So, that's it. I, I'm just reading what happens to me. So, D, when the check was returned and dishonored by the Dum Bank, the cash was credited with 
$2,000 to cancel the amount and demands limited debited to reinstate the debt, as I said. So the cargo was formally what? Debited with the amount what we received the amount of $2,000 in the name of the But once it had been returned, we have to cancel it. But while crediting the cash, then what debiting is that you must account with the $2,000 cash, reinstating this what is that. So that, how, that is how we do what this one right? Please, we have come to the end of the video. Let us see what we've learned so far. So our learning outcomes are, A, we now understand why the bank reconciliation statement, what is done. Why do we do? We do it in order to reconcile a cash book balance with what a bank statement balance. Okay. B, able to reconcile cash book balance with what the bank statement balance. That's what we are now what do by reconciliation. Because the cash book balance, the bank statement balance, when there's differences. And C, we know how to make entries for this one check as, as I've just shown you. So we have come to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. And as I always say, watch over the video several times. Accounting as always say is a principle. We don't watch a video once that you think you are okay. Watch it several times. You become familiar with the principle and what you understand it better so that you master it. So watch this video several times so that what you really understand. Also, as I said, practice make not perfect. Practice more questions. Accounting is by practicing questions. Why you practice more? You become perfect. If you don't practice, you think that you're okay. It's not okay. When you go face exam, that you see that what you don't know anything. So practice so you become familiar. Every good accountant will tell you that what they always sit down and practice a lot, answer a lot of questions. Practice a lot of questions. If you need more questions, you can you can contact me. So please, I want you to do this thing. One, like the video for me, and also share it to your friends, inform them that they are good stuff here. So they also come to my, my, channel, my, my channel. Invite your friends, share it to them, so invite them to my channel so that they can. I have a lot of videos there concerning, and I'm doing more. So please like and share it to your, your friends. This will really motivate me. And two, the second thing that you I want you to uh, the comment. Comment. You don't know you've been watching the video. You don't comment. I don't know why you're watching silence. You don't want to comment. But comment so that I will know my mistake and I can improve up on the video, video so that I can do better videos for you. And last but not the least, please subscribe. Rana, every week I have do two or three videos. When you subscribe, as soon as it's done, it will be sent uh, to you. And also, uh, anybody who wants to learn accounting, if you are an accountant who wants to learn accounting, I have my email and also my phone number, including WhatsApp number below the video. Go to the show more session, you can contact me so that what uh, I'll talk to you, then we see how we can schedule it. And also, I, I don't how I can also what I can also teach you. Also, if you're a student, you are struggling with your exams. Because accounting, accounting can be easy for you. When you want it to be there, it can be difficult if you want it to be difficult. So if you need help with your exams, you are the accounting, you don't understand the accounting subjects and so forth. It's becoming a little bit complex. Please contact me. When you contact me, as I said, go to the show more session. I have my email and also my telephone number. Come and contact me so that I have you. And I always, say to, I always say this whenever I teach somebody and the person go and write an exam and come out of flying college, that the person is successful by them. It gladdens my heart more than, than anything. So don't sit there in silence and suffer. Let me help you. And also, as I said, I'm ACC chartered accountant. I do bookkeeping, perform other kind of things, including teaching accounts. So if you need somebody to keep your books, for you or perform any other accounting service, you can contact me. I will end here and watch out for my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.